Hey everybody! Okay, so this is going to be hopefully a date day vlog. Right now, I am getting ready. I was supposed to work today, but my client got moved. I got my scarf on to lay my edges. And I have an oil change appointment at 3 p.m. Then after that, I'm going to meet up with Tyrone. We are supposed to go to Stax Bar and Grill rooftop. It's one of the last nice days of the year. It's supposed to be like 80 something today, but by the time we get there, it'll be like have cooled down like 70. So, cause I do not want to be on a rooftop in 80 degree weather, but I'm eating my breakfast lunch, which is a gluten-free vegan kale and mushroom pizza that I got from Earl's in Chicago the other day. So. That's my brunch, and I'm gonna finish getting dressed. It's about two, so I need to leave here about 2.30 to be to my oil change appointment on time. So hopefully, um, here's another attempt at a vlog, and <laughs> we're gonna see how today goes. I'm going to consistently practice so I can get better, because we also want to have a date day this Sunday and go to the Botanic Garden, which is a very beautiful place, and maybe go get something to eat. But Simple date days, date days, date nights. Just get out and do something. So I'm gonna eat my pizza, I'm gonna get dressed, and I'll be back. Okay, I am at my oil change appointment. I also had to get a recall checked because I got something in the mail about a recall. So I'm getting my oil change and my recall and then figuring out what's next. I'm gonna sit here and edit some videos on my phone and get that taken care of. Try to be productive. This is my view. Not the most exciting, but yeah. Just sitting here waiting until I go to my next destination. It took a little longer, so it's been almost two hours. Um, they said it'll be about 10 more minutes and then I can go. <laughs> I'm just now getting finished it is 5 58 mind you i got here at 2 50 p.m i've never been here this long normally it'll just be like my oil change quick cool all right i got something in the mail about a recall so i had them do that he said it would take about an hour and a half i'm like okay cool i can wait an hour and a half i'm just now getting out at an hour and 45 minutes i went and checked to see how much longer it would be they said 10 minutes it was over 10 minutes. <laughs> All I could do was laugh. At the end, the guy was like, well, yeah, that's why I said if you have an hour and a half. I said, sir, you said an hour and a half. It's been three hours. They did give me a card for a free oil change next time I come. Because <laughs> they didn't want me to give them a bad review. It has to be like really serious for me to like go give a bad review. Usually when they send me a survey, I will give them uh, positive feedback. But I, I appreciate them giving me the free oil change because of course I am going to have to come back again. And free oil change always helps. So I just got done wiping down my car because they do wash your car complimentary, but they don't dry it or anything. That's okay, I'll just dry it myself. It's a free car wash. I'm going to meet up with Tyrone and then dinner reservations are not till eight. Can't go to the bakery I was trying to go to today because they closed at 5.30 at six o'clock. I thought I'd be out by like, oh. 4.30 at the latest. And even if I got out at five, I would've just had Tyrone meet me here and then we go to the bakery. So they had these amazing gluten-free and vegan cupcakes that I really wanted today, but maybe another day. <laughs> oh goodness, um, it could always be worse, I will say that. So on with the day into the evening. Okay, we finally made it to Stax, like 7.50 something. We got her a little bit early, set in the car. We'll be on the rooftop. Where's Tyron? There he is, crossing the street. <laughs> Say hi. Word of the day, well, saying of the day. Whatever y'all going through in life, do not let it get to you. That's right. It looks like that on the outside. But we are gonna head in here and head to the rooftop and hope it's not cold. Thank you. 
up here I could dig it we're going back down now it's dark dark one of the people we pick them up the staircase is pretty cool it has all these books here <laughs> it's time to go the more people leaving y'all want to see um, Tyrone shoes they're actually really nice hold on Hey, hey. The food was good. The drink was strong. I had a apple cider. Was it a martini? Cocktail. It was an apple cider cocktail. I am very much a lightweight and I hadn't eaten in a couple hours so I tend to feel it in my hips. I know there's other people out there like that that's like me. I'm not the only one. I am a lightweight but. I very sissy doubt that. No, I know there's other people <laughs> out there like me. I started to feel it in my hips. It feels like I can't explain it. It's like warm, and my hips Look, feel like there's nobody like her. There is Please agree. no, no, there has to be. Y'all, let him no. know there are no. people like me. <laughs> Somebody can relate, I know they can. But right now, we're walking in um, downtown Valpo just a little bit, you know, enjoying one of the last nice evenings of the year because it is October now. Valpo's pretty quiet today. It's not many people out, but it is like a weeknight. You know, it's not the weekend or anything. The weather is gorgeous. It's giving. Tell them what you had. This is like this lobster uh, slider with all kinds of flavor. Lemon parmesan sauce I put on the mashed potatoes that she can have. <laughs> I know, not crack myself up. But. Clearly. But it was amazing on the mashed potatoes and the lamb chops. So you'll see in my thing, they kind of made something for me because I am gluten sensitive. And it's not that I have problems digesting it. It just really flares up my eczema. So no gluten, no dairy also flares up my eczema. And uh, I'm pescatarian. So I just eat fish and vegan meat. So they were able to get some shrimp tacos for me that were like non breaded they just like black in them and they put pico guacamole and they were on corn tortillas and i had a side of chips that were also gluten-free and they were actually seasoned nicely Tyrone's ready to go so we're gonna walk back this weather though i'm gonna go home and watch that new movie Invasion. container oh not container it's not even called container but i keep calling it that because that's what she's on in the the picture but we are catching up on invasion that came out tonight so maybe we'll watch the container movie tomorrow because he sounds like he's set on invasion I mean, so. you don't gotta get up you can watch her we cannot watch everything tonight because I have a very long day tomorrow. I have clients, go get my lashes done, and then I am going to an event with my friend, Corey. And I'm gonna hit a block or two. Hit a block or two? <laughs> what does that mean? If you know, you know. <laughs> but I don't, so <laughs> what does it mean? Is it legal? It means plenty of things. But why can't he just tell me? I don't understand. I feel like I'm talking to the Riddler. Hey, oh, they got a fluid out here. You are right past that, huh? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> the judgment, sir. I was talking to that camera. Very judgy, judgy. But this was tonight. This is pretty much the end of our night. I am not spending any blocks tonight. You know what you should do? What should I do? Record how high up you got your driver's seat. Where is he coming from me? 
five foot three and I need to be able to see. My driver's seat is not that bad. Nah, uh, come from my angle. It's not that bad. So all you fellas up there, that's six feet and above. But, but the seat moves? He's so extra, why is he so extra? So we're planning to do another date day on Sunday. So I'm gonna come find the two days. Um, today is like a Tuesday. And we're gonna do something on Sunday too. And we're gonna start earlier in the day. I'll see you all on Sunday. Exactly. You know my life. <laughs> so it is Sunday. We are going out night two. It's still day, but now it's starting to get dark earlier. The other day we went to Stacks rooftop. So we are headed to Lombard, Illinois. We're going two places. We're gonna go do an activity. Then we are going to eat. We're gonna try something different and out of the norm for us today. Let's say, I think like Desi and Middle Eastern cuisine. The food looks good. It has good reviews. We're gonna check that out tonight. I'm trying out this new car milk. We'll see how that works out. I also need to get a mic because the sound is probably kind of weird right now. The sounds of the highway and the car and everything. So it's about an hour drive. So we're just gonna eat snacks <laughs> until we get there. I will definitely be back. out here y'all what drink did you get mixed fruit hibiscus tea What you saw was Tyrone trying the coffee here. It was hot. Were you able to like taste it for him? <laughs> he burned, burned his mouth. <laughs> Thank you. So we're boxing up our food now. I had also ordered the batata harda and we were waiting on it. I ordered it as an appetizer. The seafood platter came out first, so I just asked them, you know, when would we be getting that? Cause he ordered lamb chops too. And they just told me they don't have it. So that's how I found out. <laughs> The food here is good. It's worth the drive. Okay, so we're about to head out. The food was good overall. I was just a little disappointed. Like the guy that came to serve us originally and he took our orders, he was good at first. And then after he took our order, we never saw him again. We never had another waiter come to the table until we had a lady bought us our food. After that, we didn't see anybody for a while and we were sitting there like, 
Okay, where's the rest of our food? Because Tyrone got the lamb chops. He hadn't got those yet. And I ordered the potatoes that I was talking about in the restaurant. I ordered that as an appetizer. But the seafood came out first. So I was just like, oh, I'm supposed to get my potatoes. I almost forgot about them. So then later, the lady was like, how's everything? And we were like, we were waiting on the rest of our food. They hadn't put his lamb chop order in. And she told me they didn't have the potatoes. So that's when I found out, like, towards the end of our meal. But the, like hummus and bread they bought us out now i should not have been eating that bread i will say that but it was it was good my eczema's probably gonna flare up tomorrow but it is what it is how'd you feel about the food i was good our lamb chops got me need, need you know some work done to it i think the the mixed fruit smoothies that was fire on the rice that was good and the, the videos and pictures and stuff i've seen um people were getting like more of the cheese and beef dishes too and i imagine that's really good but we don't well i don't eat cheese i can't eat cheese and neither one of us eat beef we're headed back it is 50 it says 51 degrees outside but i feel like it's a strong 43 it's only 10 o'clock doggone it the league is over sorry i'm thinking about duolingo y'all if y'all play duolingo then you know the food was good the service was okay but we would come here again i would not probably get that tea again it tastes very similar to the hibiscus tea that i make at home i would just drink the one at home but tyrone's drink was really good thank y'all for watching and being with us on this date night experience we'll see y'all soon the wink bye